Legends, Venus, an adventure with Rocky Star. <laughs> Rocky and Dan arrive at Tagroth Ocean at night only to learn that Buck Dar and his followers have gone to Cosgrack Island. Unbeknown to them, Mitch and Dan are held prisoner by Gorse while his men search for their friends. All through the night and the next morning, Rocky and Dan hide in the jungle awaiting a boat for Cosgrack. Suddenly they hear a dull flapping of huge wings overhead. With a cry of warning, Yan tells Rocky it is the dreaded Bukul, a flying monster, half animal, half bird. Gosh, you breathe some fantastic things on Venus. Rocky... He's just going to attack us. Great Scott! This is the finish for us. See how it hovers here, with its huge, beady eyes watching us. I wish I had a gun of some kind. Rocky! Come on, out of the way. It will tear you to pieces. Uh, we'll soon see about that. You cannot that. fight it. Well, I'm not letting it kill me without a scrap. What can you do? Well, I don't know yet, but maybe I can handle it with this log of wood here. <laughs> here it comes. It is diving down on us. Rocky! All right! Ah, how do you like that, ugly? Are you all right? Well, it flew off when I took a swing at it. He has not gone far. Oh, no, where about is it? Up above that tree. Let us run to the beach. Oh, no, no, Yen, we can't. It will be safer than here. How about Gog's men? They might be down there. Oh, yes, yes, I, I forgot them. Come on, back out of the way. It's coming again. Dash! Got it! Kill it, Rocky! Kill it I can't get near it. It's flapping its wings like mad. Look, he just standing on its feet. Yen? Why, Yen, it's almost as tall as I am. Let us run. Look out, watch yourself. Come on, ugly, I'm waiting for you. Ah, you would, would you? Here, that's this. Ah, that's got it. All right, here's some more. Come on. Ah, again. Again. Ah. All right. All right, I think that fixed him for the time being. Rocky, I thought that... I thought we were finished when the Vukul came. Oh, they'll be truthful, so did I. However, you never know your luck. You are the most amazing person I've ever known. Oh, well, how do you mean? Will you stand there and fight over cool with only a piece of wood? That's amazing what you can do when your life depends on it, Jan. It's either that thing or us. If we'd have run, one of us would have been killed. As it was, we're both alive and happy. Again, you have saved my life. Well, you'd have done the same for me, Jan. To think that I tried to murder you on Earth many times, and now on Venus you are helping us overthrow Gorg, Rocky, I can never say that. Yan, 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 forget that stuff. Or as Mitch would say, you'd, you'll have me bawling soon. <laughs> My gosh, will you look at the size of that thing? Do not go closer, Rocky. It might not be quite dead. One flap of those wings would be enough to knock you to the ground. Yes, I suppose so. It's some size. I suppose its body is as big as a man's. Would you look at those wings? Man, call me Ella. Man, up there. Man, up there. Cool Rocky, that is one of Gorg's men. They must have heard the commotion. Yes. What are they saying? He calls his men to search over this way. All right, come on then, Yan. We'll have to move fast. I'd hate to fall into Gorg's hands. Man, Reboera! Man, Reboera! I believe they have seen us. Head away from those voices. Come on, go for it, or we'll never see Ann and Mitch again. <laughs> I think we've given them the slip, Yan. I trust so. Well, why, that was a close call. Very. You almost hit us? Yes. Now, just be quiet for a moment. Can you hear anything? No. No, I think we're safe. Good. If we had to run any further, I, I would have collapsed. Yes. Come on, let's push back into this thick undergrowth, Yan. Careful that there are no snakes. Uh, we'll have to risk that. I'd rather face a couple of snakes than have... Gold's men at my heels any time. You are not afraid of him, are you? No, but right now I'd rather be free. We'll never organize an army if Gore gets us. No. Ah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is nice and comfortable anyway. I presume that we remain hidden here until it is night. That's right. Then we have to find that boat. The sooner we're on Cosgrack, the happier I'll be. So will I. Ah, uh, it will be good to... to talk with Anne again. Yes. She is a wonderful woman. You're rather keen on her, aren't you, Anne? And you are, too. Me? Well, I... 
I hadn't thought about it yet. I hope to marry her one day. I see. Uh, they'll never do that unless we pin his gog's ears back. No, that is so. Ian, between you and me, it's going to be some job. Yes, Rocky. He'll take a power of beating. Still, with a good army behind us, we can do it. I wonder whether Mitch and Anne are more comfortable than we are. I trust her, Rocky. I am lying on the bed of hard rock. Well, I won't be for long. And then it's Cosgrack first stop. Say, I can't understand why we've been brought back to Rodden. Does that matter? No, I guess not. Anything wrong, Anne? Oh, no. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself at Gorg's prisoner. Oh, you're still fretting. Oh, Nick. I wish I hadn't told Gorg about that tunnel. Oh, forget it, honey. He might have captured everyone. Well, not him. We'd have heard about it. I was thinking of Rocky and Yan. Look, they'll be okay. Why, I wouldn't be surprised if they're out after us. I hope so. Oh, sure they will be. And I guess fighting as mob are on Cosgrack. Rocky can't come too soon. Gorg terrifies me. Yeah, he's sure a bad heart. Not that he'll hurt me at the moment. A revolting beast. He's taken quite a liking to you, hasn't he? In one way, I wish he hadn't. In another, I'm glad. It might save our lives one day. You can say that again. Oh, but Mitch, the way he pours me oh. Yeah, and I gotta stand by and watch him. They got a man tied up like a plucked fowl. Don't you try to interfere, Mitch. He'd kill you as soon as breathe. Say, so, and I got a horrible feeling that we won't beat this maniac. He's got the game sewn up. Everyone's terrified of him. No wonder. Oh, take on my tonsils. Here he comes. Look at those robots walking after him. They follow him like dogs. Oh, that's frightening, Mitch. They're almost human with those eyes and face and clothes. Yeah, I'll say. Ah, oh, my lovely one. <laughs> Are you ready? For what? Uh, we travel to Vintum, capital of Venus. Well, we're not taking those robots with us, are we? You are not afraid of my little men, are you? Yes, I am. <laughs> they will not harm you. Oh, send them away, please. Yeah, they give me the horrors. Standing there looking at you without seeing you, Sora. Only those who oppose me need fear, my little men. Please. Have no fear. They are not accompanying us to Vintum. Uh, they return later. I will send them back to join their brothers. I turn this knob and I watch them move away. See? Yes. They are wonderful, my little men. Wonderful. They obey my will without question or fear. However, enough of them. Uh, <laughs> I would rather speak of you, my lovely one. <laughs> hey, where did you say we're going? Uh, to Vinton. And you would adore our greatest city. Uh, can you imagine a city of 200,000 people built underground and wait until you see my palace? <laughs> you will enjoy life with me there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke, that is, Gordon. You will address me as sire. Ah, go take a long run and jump at yourself. Why don't you address the king as sire, Mitch? What? Me call that parrot, sir? Not likely. He's entitled to our respect. <laughs> After all, he is king of Venus. And the words of my lovely one warm my heart. It would be as well for you to follow her advice. Okay, sire. That is better. Now, follow me. Uh, how can I? My feet are tied. A nice soon order. How's about my hands? They remain as they are. Come, I will take you to my air car. So this is an air car. Mitch, it, it looks like one of those streamlined jobs on the earth. Yeah. <laughs> Say, look, I'll bite my big toe if this thing can fly. Uh, we will sit in the back seat, Anne. You go in first, Mitch. Okay, okay, don't push. You tell a Roy Redor, sir. You are got Vincent Techno. I'll sit the sir. Come on, Anne. No, no, no. <laughs> I shall sit between you. Come, my lovely one. Thank you, sir. Uh, one word of warning, Mitch. Uh, should you be foolish enough to try to escape, I will kill you immediately. Okay, okay, I'll be good. For the moment. Devon, what, Vincent? Redor! Very soon, we will leave the roadway and fly through the air. Uh, watch the speedometer. Uh, when it touches 40, 
Then you will see the wings sliding out from the body of the aircraft. Hey, you can't put that over us. We wasn't born yesterday. Mitch, we're traveling at almost 40 now. Hey, yeah, boy, this job is a quick pickup. There huh? go the wings. Well, I'll be... Say, I take it all back. Mitch, we're off the ground. Yeah. My air car amazed you, eh, my lovely one? Very much. You have seen little of the wonders of our world of Venus. We are the greatest of all worlds. One day we shall prove that. And now lean back in your seat, my lovely one, and enjoy your journey. <laughs> it will not be long before we are flying over winter. Well, I gotta hand it to you, Venusians. You sure built yourself some world. Are all those liners down there atomically powered, sir? They are. Hundreds of years ago, we discovered the secret of the atom and developed it greatly. Say, where are the docks for them ships? Now, they too are underground. In interplanetary warfare, it is essential that everything go underground, otherwise it will be destroyed. Where are the ships going? To the North Continent, mainly. I was born there. It is much lovelier than this southern continent. I was taken there, my lovely one. Don't make too many plans, pretty boy. Mitch, don't speak like that to the king. Let him say what he will while he can. Yeah, what does that mean? You do not imagine that I have brought you to Ventum for company. Well, why? So that I can grind the truth out of you. Well, you got a job in front of you, pal. Oh, I have ways of making such as you speak. I need to find out where Jan, his father, and the other earthlings are hiding. And I shall. I shall. <laughs> What lies ahead of our friends in the strange new world that you know only as the evening star? Will Gorg force Mitch to disclose where Buck down the others are hiding? And what of Rocky and Jan? Be with us for the next thrill-packed episode of the Rocky Star Adventure, Destination Venus. Venus.